Hi friends, it's Monday and I told you guys I'm going to make that keto lasagna. So I'm going to start by making some of my sauce. I can't do that jarred stuff, not after you learn how to make your own. And by making my own, I'm using crushed tomatoes. So amazing. You chop up one a Vidalia onion, which I already chopped up. I'm going to put that into my cast iron skillet. Then I have some garlic, which I like to get the, the big giant one. Put it in my Pampered Chef. It, it makes little tiny peels. It makes cutting, cutting it so much easier. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put about a quarter cup of basil with some olive oil in my pot. I'm going to saute that all up. Once that onion gets a little bit soft, I'm going to add two cans of crushed tomatoes, and then I'm going to let that simmer for a while. My family kind of likes it a little sweet, so after it simmers for about a half an hour, I'm going to add like two teaspoons of Splenda, because it gives it that, takes away that acidity and makes it a little sweet. And y'all are going to love it, and then we're going to make the pasta for this keto lasagna. Okay, friends, so in here I have two eggs that I beat very well with a half a block of cream cheese. I followed the directions, that's all I did. Then I beat the two eggs with the cream cheese, beat that in. Then I put a quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, all per the recipe. And I actually measured. And if you all know me, I don't normally measure. But I didn't want to mess this up. I'm following it right to the T. Beat all that up. Then I put in a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Beat that also. And then last but not least, I folded in a cup and a half of mozzarella. I don't know why you couldn't beat the mozz, but I'm following the directions, friends. And that's what I have. Now I am going to put this out on my silicone lined sheet and I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees for it says about 20 minutes. So I will be back with that final product. See how these lasagna noodles are gonna turn out. Okay, friends, if I only had smell-o-vision for you guys to smell this, because I don't know how this is going to taste, if it's going to be at all like noodles, but it looks and smells amazing. Mmm. I cannot wait to cut it. I am going to let it set and let it cool for a while, just like I would my regular lasagna, and I will share it with you guys later.